What's going on guys? It's Renja Militia and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you some inheritance in Python as well as some superclasses and subclasses which actually go hand in hand with inheritance. So to start off we're just going to make ourselves a class and for purpose of you guys learning I'm going to name this one superclass just so you can you know really get the understanding that hey this is the superclass. And let's what should we do? Well, let's throw a variable in there. Let's just go x equals and let's just go 10. All right, so we have our class superclass. And really the only thing that's in there is the variable x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make another class and we'll call this subclass. And actually, let me get this here. Capitalization. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in parentheses. We're going to put the class that we are inheriting traits from. So bam, colon, and then we're going to put pass. Now, what pass does is it just kind of says, okay, we're not going to put anything in here. But you'll see why that's useful. And let's go ahead and make some objects. So let's go super object equals super class. And let's go super object dot x. 10. All right. So, everything we just did here, we did our in our last episode. Well, not our last episode, actually a couple episodes ago, when we just used an object and we used it to call on a variable. And now we're going to see if this subclass did indeed inherit the variable x from superclass. So let's try it now. Let's go sub object and you can name these whatever you want. I just want you guys to get a good understanding, like I said before. Let's go empty parameters and sub object dot x bottom being ten. Now, where this comes useful is say you have animals, right? Or even the example we used earlier where you have uh employees, like Burger King workers. So let's say you have the animal class, and this has attributes that are specific to any animal. Well, really not specific, but uh, th any animal will have this trait, right? Like say they have a brain, or they have a heart, they have something, you know what I mean? They have certain things. But, obviously, a bird is different from a dog, and a dog is different from a cat, or something like that. So you'd have the super class, animal, so you'd have animal class, and in this animal, oops, oh yeah, I can't add that, sorry. I'm not used to coding into uh, the shell, but I do that when I do these classes here. It's a little bit easier than running the program. But what I was saying, all right, so you're going to have your animal class, right? So you'll have class, animals, or animal class, and that'll have certain, like, brain, right, or something, like, train, <laughs> brain, heart stuff like that and then you would have let's say a dog class right and it would inherit traits from an animal class and it's gonna have every animal it's gonna have all the traits that every single animal will have obviously so in our actual dog class we're going to put some dog specific attributes so let's go like legs equals four even though it's not quite that dog specific uh, they do have four legs. I mean, not every animal has four legs, obviously. Uh, let's go two eyes. Alright, because I guess spiders have eight, but I guess they're not really animals, but whatever. Uh, two eyes. Let's go uh, ears. I don't even know. <laughs> stuff. Different stuff. Let's go fur, right? And go, definitely they have fur. And we could even go into another class that inherits traits from this class, and we could go into a special, um, a special dog. Say, like Scruffy the dog has blue fur, right? So, I'll get into that next episode where you have subclasses in another subclass, which I don't know. It could be a little bit complicated, but uh, I hope we can progress there. And I will see you guys later because it's pretty much it's for this episode. Don't forget to check out my uh, web web development series. Uh, so far I've only done a couple episodes where I get into HTML, but I'll definitely get into CSS and hopefully go in somewhere 
either JavaScript or PHP. So check that out in the link in the description if you are interested in that, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.